Okay, so here I've got Visual Studio Code. Now, the first time you run it, you might have a welcome screen. I've turned that off. I uh, can't remember how to get it back. Um, so don't worry if your initial screen for Visual Studio Code is different to mine. The key thing to note is this top uh, icon of a couple of pages. You can see as I hover over it, it says Explorer. This is going to give us access to the files, um, our Java files in particular, that we're using at any given time. And pretty much most of the time in AES, uh, you are just be dealing with one Java file for any given project. So to get started, we go up here to File. Again, it doesn't matter what the rest of your screen looks like. Just go to File, Open Folder. Now you can see here I've got a number of um, folders. Each one of these folders here is a different exercise. I can see I've got it within another folder called Standard Algorithms, within another folder called Java Projects AS. So this is what you do. Each of these here I've got sort of folders for different areas of programming. So I'm going to create a folder here and I'm going to call it Video Tutorials. You probably wouldn't do this one, but it demonstrates how we work with files in Visual Studio Code. Let me go select folder. So we've created the folder, but we don't yet have a Java file. So over here on the left in the Explorer panel, we see video tutorials, what we just named our folder. Then click the first icon on the left here, new file. And I'm going to type um, VS Code intro. It's going to have no spaces, just sort of copy it like I've done it, done it, and then go .java. Now it's really, really important that you put the file extension .java. You'll notice as I did that, a little red circle with a capital J in white appears. So VS Code is going to recognize this as a Java file and not the file of some other programming language. Hit enter. And now we've got the beginnings of our Java program. In the next tutorial, we'll set you up with a few lines of code that you're going to have to write every single time you create a new Java file.